Hey, what's up YouTube, Sky Badger here, and I'm back with a tips and tricks video on how to use the Intelligence Spy in Call of War 1942. So let's begin. The Intelligence Spy is very useful. It can tell you a lot about your enemy. You can only use them in enemy provinces, and they are generally pretty hard to capture, if you use them correctly. So if you follow my advice, your enemies will never know you were there. So here is a list of what the Intelligent Spy can do. The Intelligent Spy can intercept a player's recent messages, can show you what units the player is making, the exact amount of resources the player has, and the level of the player's buildings. They can also show you a list of the player's relations, a list of where the player has spies, a list of their recent trades, and what they have purchased from the market. They can sometimes reveal enemy troops, but this is only on the province the spy is used on. And lastly, they can show you what your enemy is building at the time. Please note that when I say the use of the word can, I mean you're not guaranteed to get all of these effects at once. It may take a few days to get these. To get an intelligence spy, you must first pay $15,000 to recruit an idle spy. Then, you can put the spy to work in intelligence for a further $2,000 a day. To hire an intelligence spy, click the espionage tab. Then, click on the enemy province you want to use it in. Now, recruit a spy. Once you have done that, the number of idle spies you have will change to 1. To put the spy into intelligence, click the plus near the camera icon. This icon refers to intelligence. Now, if you exit this menu, you can see that the intelligence icon will be above the province it has been used in. If you want to move it, idle it, or dismiss the spy completely, just click the intelligence icon and click the minus button. This will idle it. From here you can dismiss it completely or move it by clicking on another province. While spies are idle, they still cost $500 a day, but they do nothing in idle. So when should you use them? Intelligence spies should be used before attacking another player to get info like the number of allies the player has, their production capacity, where they have spies, their supply in recent trade, and their messages. This information can be very useful. If you know they have spies, then they might already know what you've got planned. And if you know their supply in recent trades, you can use this information to destroy their economy. For instance, if you know they have very little food and are relying on the market to get it, just target their food provinces with bombers or economic spies. This will shut them down real quick. Intelligence spies can also be used on people who don't respond to messages, as well as allies you may not trust. But I do not recommend you overuse any sort of spy, as some people believe that the use of spy is an act of war. To finish off this video, I've got some useful tips. Place intelligence spies in areas of no value to the enemy, as these places are unlikely to have counter espionage spies. From my experience, it does not matter if you place the intelligence spy in the capital, core provinces, or non-core provinces. They all give the same results. But I honestly don't know why I see so many people place their intelligence spies in the enemy's capital. It is predictable, and this makes them easy to capture. If you gain a province with one of your intelligence spies in it from the enemy, the intelligence spy will become a counter-espionage spy. As normal, all spies give results a day change, and if you don't have the money to pay them a day change, you will lose them. Intelligent spies will also reveal enemy spy placement, so if you have this knowledge, use it to better coordinate your own spy placement, so you can avoid placing intelligent spies where your enemy has counter espionage. Try and change the location of each of your spies daily. This will make it a lot harder for your enemy to capture them. From my experience, intelligent spies are also the hardest of the free offensive spies to capture. I also believe that to get the best results from intelligent spies, you only need between 5 and 8. 5 usually does the trick. So there's my advice on how to use the intelligent spy in Call of War 1942. If I have missed something or got something wrong, tell me in the comments. Next time I'll cover the military saboteur. If you want to know more, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.